Okay, so here's a model of two endpoints uh, and a midpoint. And we want to explore the relationships between them. Our essential question is, how do you find the missing endpoint if you are given one endpoint and the midpoint? All right, so let's say if I give you the first endpoint and I give you the midpoint. So we're talking about a situation like this. I've given you the uh, first endpoint, and I've given you the midpoint, and then we're supposed to find the other endpoint. Um, but really quickly, before I dive in and show you how to find the missing endpoint, let me just briefly re review with you um, how we find the midpoint if we know both endpoints. I think if I do both problems the same way, one right after the other, you'll see all the connections and um, it'll look like common sense to you. So before we do this problem, here's an example, a quick example of how we used to do it when we knew both endpoints. Point is 2 comma 3, the other endpoint is 6 comma 11. Um, I've tried to uh, emphasize that finding the midpoint is all about finding the average. If we find the average of the x values, that's going to give us the x value of the midpoint. If we find the average of the y values, we will find the y value of the midpoint. And how do you find the average of two things? You add them up and divide by two. So that's what we that's what we do. So basically it looks like this. Um, if we had we're gonna basically do, do two separate calculations. One calculation will be for the x values, and another calculation will be for the y values. Okay, so in this case for the x values we would do this. So if we do the average of the x values, then we are talking about 2 and 6 are the x values. So if we add them up and divide by 2, obviously 2 plus 6 is 8. You know, so that's going to be 8 over 2, which is 4. So, so far, that gives us the x value of the midpoint is 4. Now we're going to do the same thing with the y values. Okay, but the y values are 3 and 11. So if we do our 3 plus 11 divided by 2. So that's going to be 14 divided by 2. which of course is 7. So that gives us the y value of our midpoint. Okay, so that's how we would find that the midpoint is 4 comma 7. So I think we all understand that. That's, you know, if you have the coordinates of the endpoints given, this is how you would find the midpoint. All right, so the next step, because look, our goal is going to be um, what if I give you one endpoint and the midpoint how do you find the other endpoint that's that's our goal um, okay so again our essential question is how do you find the missing endpoint if you are given one endpoint and the midpoint um, so a way of helping you understand that is by starting with just all variables. So just like before, when we found the midpoint by uh, doing the average of the two endpoints, and we set up two equations to calculate the, um, the numbers that made up the midpoint. Let's go ahead and set up those two equations right now. Let's make an x-value equation, and let's make a y-value equation. So what is the x-value equation that I could make? You know, imagine that these were all real numbers, 
and um, I'm trying to f imagine I'm trying to find the midpoint. What would I do? Okay, so just like we did before, we're going to take the average of the x values. So we're going to add up the x values, divide by 2, and see what we get. And we'll do the same thing for the y values. We're, we're going to add up those y values, divide by 2, and see what we get. So for the x values, what are my two x values right now? All right, I've got A and E. All right, those would be the x values I want to take the average of. So I would do A plus E divided by 2. And that should give me um, the midpoint x value. Well, we already have a variable for that. So that should equal C. Okay, so the average of the x's should give me the x value of the midpoint, which in this case is c. So what am I going to write here for the y values? What am I going to put here and here and here? Go ahead and say it out loud if you can. Okay, we're going to do the average of the y values. So that means since the y values are b and f, Okay, I mean, does everybody understand that all of these points are in the form x comma y? So the x's are first and the y's are second. So the y values are b and f. So I'm going to do b plus f divided by 2. And what should that equal? Well, that should equal d because that should give me the y value of the midpoint. Okay, so we have these two equations that we could set up um, anytime we are, are talking about the midpoint. Okay, so hold that in your brain. So now let's go ahead and get to our essential question of um, how do we find a, a missing endpoint if we're given one endpoint and the midpoint? Okay, so let's modify this so that we're given one endpoint and then the midpoint. Okay, so I'm going to erase these two. I'm going to leave this as variables. And um, okay, so let's use this as an example. Find the other endpoint if one comma four is the midpoint. Okay, so the midpoint is one comma four and negative 5 comma 8 is the first endpoint. Okay, so negative 5 comma 8. All right, negative 5 comma 8 is the first endpoint. So we're given an endpoint and the midpoint and we, our goal is to find the other endpoint. Okay, so I want you to set up the same two equations that we set up before when it was all variables. All right, remember when we uh, are trying to find the midpoint, we take the average of the two endpoints. It's got to be the average of the endpoints, and that should equal the midpoint. So again, the endpoints, um, if I'm talking about the x values, let's do the x values first. Um, the endpoints, uh, the x values are negative 5 and e. So I need to take the average of negative 5 and e. So we used to have a here, so let's just replace that. So we take that out. And uh, so now that's negative 5. Okay, so the average of negative 5 and e, so add those up and divide by 2, that should equal the x value of the midpoint, which um, we had c before. Okay, but now we have a value of 1. Okay, so x value plus x value from the endpoints, divide by 2, 
that should equal the x value of the midpoint. So we have that equation. S uh, do the same thing for the y values. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of my b and my d. I still have the f. So the y values are 8 and f, and then that should equal 4. So if I do a y value of 8 plus a y value of f, find the average, so divide by 2, that should equal what? That should equal 4. Okay, the average of the two endpoint y values should equal the midpoint y value. So we've got these two equations. Now, do you see our variables are e and f? So if we solve this for e, that's going to be the value of the, uh, the x value of our endpoint. And if we solve this equation for f, that'll give us the y value of our other endpoint. So that's what we're going to do. Let's just solve this equation. Okay, so um, the thing to do would be, let's see, I think I'll use green. You see this denominator of 2. So the easiest thing to do is to multiply by the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by, by 2. Okay? And I might as well do this equation at the same time. So if I'm, I'm going to also multiply by 2 on both sides of this equation. All right? That way, these 2's will cancel each other out. And that's just going to leave me with all right, I've got negative 5 plus e equals 2. Okay, and on this one, these 2's cancel each other out, and that's going to leave me with 8 plus f equals 8. Okay, so if I want to solve this for e, I'm going to go ahead and add 5 to both sides, plus 5 plus 5. So that's going to give me e equals 7. And on this side, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. So minus 8, minus 8. And that's going to give me f equals 0. So that means, you know, translating both of these values into this. Okay, that means this uh, missing endpoint is the point 7, comma, 0. So that is what we were trying to find. You know, of course, you could check your answer. You know, if you weren't sure, you could go ahead and check your answer by seeing if I take the average of these x values, do I really get 1? If I take the average of these y values, do I really get 4? Okay, so maybe I should do that off to the side real quick. Check. Okay, let's do the x values. Um, negative 5 plus 7. Um, so I'm taking the average of the x values divided by 2. What does that make? Um, well, negative 5 plus 7, that's 2. So that's 2 over 2. So that does equal 1, okay, which is, is what we had. So, so far, so good. The, y val the x values check out. Um, let's check our work on the y values, 8 and 0. So if I do 8 plus 0 divided by 2, well, that would just be 8 divided by 2, and that would be 4, okay, a y value of 4. And that would give us the correct y value. So it checks out. So that is how you find the missing endpoint if you're given one endpoint and the midpoint. Set up two equations. Set up an x value equation and set up a y value equation. And um, your, your missing x value should be right here, like the, the e. And your missing y value should be here, like this f.
and then you just solve and you'll find your endpoint.